In today's video, I'm going to walk through exactly how to optimize devices, locations, and audiences on Google Shopping Ads. Hey guys, this is Dustin with ClicksGeek. Before we get started, if you can please click the thumbs up below, I would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more great content. Now let's take a look at this. Once you have logged into your Google ads account on the left-hand side, just click campaigns, the campaigns tab here. And then you will be presented with your shopping campaign. Go ahead and click on that. And then down at the bottom here, you'll see the device tab. So click on that. And then it will present you with your devices. So we have mobile phones, computers, and tablets that have received traffic. The reason that we want to optimized at the device level is because for instance, we have mobile devices here that have spent $614 on this particular campaign. And then it has a ROAS of 0 0.88. And then on computers here, we've only spent $57 and we have a ROAS of 3.73. And then the tablets just aren't doing much of anything. I want to try to level this out. The first thing I want to do is I want to be able to optimize at the negative keywords. I want to get rid of all irrelevant keywords before I get here. However, if that still doesn't do it quite enough and it's transparent that computers are outperforming mobile phones, what you can do is you can do a slight bit adjustment here. You can actually decrease this by a percentage and then we're pretty far off here. So I would say let's do like a 10% decrease on this. And as long as you're doing some level of manual bidding, you can decrease the actual bid that is going on here. If you're doing like max conversions, max clicks, things like that, this is not going to be coming into play only once it's like a negative 100% will it come to play. So keep that in mind as you optimize these. So we're going to try to bring this cost down for mobile devices. And we want to try to bring this up. Let's try to get some more traffic here. So let's increase this by 10%. And then tablets, it really hasn't spent enough yet in order to really optimize, but we'll, we'll just let that spend a bit more. And then we'll worry about that later. The next thing we can do is optimize the locations. While you're on this page here on the left-hand side, you'll see the locations tab. So click that. And then right now, all you'll see here is that we are targeting just the entire United States. But what we can do here is we can actually click on United States and then we can break these out by cities, by regions, by states. So let's break these out by states to see what we have. And then once you're on this page, we're gonna sort by cost here. Let's see what's costing us the most. Okay, so we've spent in, and this isn't really necessarily, this isn't a ton of data. To where I would make an optimization on this quite yet. But let's say hypothetically, this was $899 and we've had no conversions here. Okay. One thing we can do is we can actually click on this. We can completely exclude the city or we can add a bid adjustment on the state. And then we're going to, on this one, we're going to decrease the bid and let's do 50%. So we might be able to pull a little bit of traffic that it potentially turn into something, but we're not going to spend all of our budget there. So we're going to apply that. So that's how you would do that. And then I'll just show you how to do this as well, but we can completely exclude the state as well. So let's say you have something that's just spending astronomically and it's just not returning any sales. We can do the same thing. We can click on Texas edit, and then we can click exclude. And then if, there's other ways to do these exclusions, but since you're already in here, you can go ahead and exclude this. And then you can see that it's now excluded. And then on the flip side of things, we can look and see what states or regions or whatever you sort by are returning the majority of the sales for us. So we can increase the bid there. We see we have our ROAS here. So we have essentially a 14.83 ROAS on New Jersey and New York is 9.28. So we want to see if we can pull more sales from this. So we can do the same thing here. We can increase by 15% here. See if we can pull more traffic from here. We don't have to do that one at a time. We can do that simultaneously. Okay, so now you'll see that our bids are going to increase by 15% on these states. And that's how you optimize locations. The next thing we want to do is we want to optimize audiences. So while we're on this page on the left-hand side here, click audiences. 
And then if you don't have any audience segments on this, you are going to want to add audience segments so that you can make your exclusion. So we can add all of these as observation. Observation just means that it's allowing you to observe how these essential group or audiences are performing with your traffic. Once you have added those, or if you already have audiences added, you would just click to show your table here. And then as you scroll down, you'll see all of these different audiences here. This doesn't have any data because I just added these audiences in for this particular campaign. So once we start collecting data on this, you'll see the costs associated with this group. And what you can do is say you have an audience here for holiday items and decorations. You can actually make an adjustment on these. Let's say you have this audience added gifts and occasions. And even though it's not necessarily overspending, you're observing it. However, you can make a bid adjustments on this under bid adjustment here. You would just click edit and you can decrease or increase by a percentage. So we're going to decrease this by 20% here because we're pretending that it's overspending. And you can do the same thing with other areas as well. So another thing that you can do is you can actually add audiences that you've added in. So if it's previous customers or if it's a certain segment of your customer list. So as you can see here, shopping cart abandoners or product views. So let's say we added in a few of these shopping cart abandoners, product viewers, or even like previous buyers. We're going to apply that. And then we would be able to see these audiences that were built. And let's say we have, for instance, we have shopping cart abandoners. Okay. So let's say that this is really pulling a good bit of revenue and we want to increase this. We can increase this by 10% or whatever, and then click save. And then it'll automatically increase the bid by 10%. So we can try to pull some more revenue from this audience. So that's how you optimize your devices, your locations, and your audiences in Google shopping campaigns. If you're interested in having our company manage your e-commerce marketing, please reach out to us by using the application link that's just down in the description below this video. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.